That's awesome. You guys, I just turned 35. Who's in their 30s here? It's a good time. I like being in my 30s. I'm like, fuck it, this is me, right? Um, the only thing I'm noticing right now is that all of my girlfriends, if they're not married yet, they really want to get married. Like, for instance, my best friend, Shelly, who I love, all right, she recently just broke up with her boyfriend because he won't propose. Now, you guys, I'm no genius, but I think this might be a step in the wrong direction. <laughs> but she has this whole elaborate explanation as to why she broke up with the guy. She was like, no, Christina, I am a house and I am for sale. Okay. <laughs> this guy has come and looked at the house week after week after week after week after week and chosen not to buy. <laughs> Therefore, I need to start showing the house to other people. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I'm just not at that phase of my life yet, you know? Like, I'm still happy with renters. <laughs> you don't have to sign a lease with me, boys. I go month to month. <laughs> Weekly specials. Wing night. <laughs> and when I turn 80, I'll just put myself up for a short sale. <laughs> I have a confession to make, you guys. I actually wrote that joke a long time ago. And now that friend is 37. And she's been married twice. <laughs> and she's single again. <laughs> you guys, I don't know what kind of advice to give her anymore. I'm just like, well, maybe it's time to renovate the basement. <laughs> I'm happily single. Anybody like being single? It is the best, and I do do a lot of online dating, and I'm not planning on like finding my soulmate there, but uh, you can find some really entertaining, creepy people there. <laughs> and I'm not saying go out and meet the creepy guys, but if you're at home alone on a Tuesday night, nothing going on, you just want somebody to message, ah, creepy people are the best. <laughs> the other night I'm at home, you know, some guy messages me, he's like, you're cute, so. Do the carpets match the drapes? I was like, yeah, I flat iron both. I'll show him who's creepy. You send me a dick pic, I send you one back. Mine's bigger than yours. Uh, that's right, I like to out creep the creeps. If you've ever been on a first date or online date, I think uh, we all have like a special escape plan in case the date is not going well. Do you guys have one of those? I do, all right, and I'm gonna share with you guys my sweet move to getting off a first date if you gotta go. If he's creepy, you just don't like him, not into it. All right, here's my move, okay? I'm on my date, I've done my nachos. Uh, I'll pull a little of this. So, um, do I remind you of your mom? <laughs> so good. Yeah, works every time. Ladies in the house, you guys got arm jiggle? Who's got the arm jiggle? I don't care. I have a lot of high maintenance girlfriends who I love. Uh, but they gotta get special stuff done, right? Like, uh, they tried to drag me out to get a, a Brazilian wax. Anybody done that before? I tried it once. The pictures are on Facebook. Um, <laughs> might wanna skip the before pictures. <laughs> Unless you like cats. <laughs> it's a really uncomfortable thing to get done to your body, right? You walk in this room, right? And you drop your pants for a little short Russian lady, right? And then she's in customer service though, so she has to make small talk with you. <laughs> so she's just like leaning over my bing bang, putting wax on it. She's like, Soul, are you married? <laughs> it's like when I fucking be doing this right now, if I was married. 
I'm just doing this because it's going to be easier than trying to explain to everybody on the beach that my bikini bottoms have tassels. <laughs> and girls will try to tell you it doesn't hurt. Of course it hurts. It totally fucking hurts. Halfway through the thing, I just went, you know what? You can stop there. <laughs> I'll just get the guys to pick around the rest. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, you guys. See, some girls play hard to get. I play hard to want. Thank you so much, you guys. You've been